So here's something a little different for you today. So Mrs. W and I do mystery dates, and I think I have outdone her today. Do you know what we're doing? I have no idea. I think we might be getting a puppy. <laughs> we're not getting a puppy. We've been driving for about an hour, and I think we are just about here. You still don't know what we're doing? Well, all I know is she just pulled into an airport in a very remote location. I did pull into an airport. Which makes me think I'm not getting a puppy. <laughs> So I've decided to quit making YouTube videos and I'm going to become a, a wildland firefighter pilot. Okay. And I just bought that red plane right there. You did not. Well, actually I leased it. No, you didn't. So today they're going to teach me how to fly it and I thought you guys might want to come along. I don't believe you. That's not a mystery date. So this is a, was it 172? 172, yeah. I've been up in a 152, that's the two passenger, right? Yeah, well, um, yeah, and a 152 is super cramped. Yes. You and whoever else your pilot were probably, you know, shoulder to shoulder. Yes, this, right. This has got a, a little bit more room for sure. It's still not roomy, but it's not, not bad, so. This is awesome. So you get to sit up front if you'd like. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure you, you don't, probably don't fit in the back? No, it'll be fine. There's probably room in the back. I'm, I mean, I can sit in the back. back or what? I think you'll enjoy it more in the front. I've got to do this before. Okay. <laughs> I'll do it. What do you think? <laughs> can you see well? This is great. Yes. How about you, Jack? Very exciting. I haven't I've been in been a small a, plane before. I mean, like a. How was it? Awesome. <laughs> I don't know why I brought this coat or this hat though. Oh, uh, well, we didn't know if it was going to be cold up there. It was really cool. <laughs> it was like a bright light, huh? It's got a real radiator there, oil cooler maybe? That's the exhaust. That's the exhaust. This is a Cessna 172. Built in the 70s. Air cooled? What is that? Oh, that's the probably the air fresh air for the cabin. I imagine. Wasps seem to think that yeah. this is a good spot to make a colony. <laughs> They'll be in for a surprise. So this is Jack's introductory flight lesson. So there's three or four things we told you we're going to leave you with before you go out into the world. What were they? Um, money, your inheritance, and mad skills. No, pilot's license, second language. Great at math, ride a horse. You'll have to do something with those four things. I can do one of those. Which one? Ride a horse. Fire boss. So these are the kind of floats that they put on, on a, like a twin otter in Alaska. Right. Okay. Huge. How long have you been flying fighter bo or fire bosses? I've only been flying it two years. Two but years. I've been flying the other aircraft in South America.
America on wheels for we were using it to spray their cocaine and kill it, making friends. And you said 1600 horsepower. Yeah, yeah. 1650. Wow. It's a glossy water day, it's not enough. Yeah. There's five. Yeah. I'll just uh, I'll drop that is impressive. You got all kinds of yellow jackets on your aircraft, boss. 400 gallons total, 200 in each tank for each uh, float. So, it all so right there, the that's it goes from here down to right the there. That little tube drops like down. What would you say? Like two and five eighths inches. Yep, yeah. you hit. And then that uh, on whack or goes up to the, water pipe, in the, to the tubes down. on each side. Right, so there, and then fills the tank in the belly. Yeah. yeah. So what is this cool thing little doing prop this here for? This is a pump, a fan, and uh, must be one of the first ones built because I don't have one on mine. Uh -huh. I've got hydraulic pumps that are working off the accessory drive of the engine. Got to figure it out. So when you come up here, just right foot, right foot, left hand, left hand, you reach for that grab. Oh. Get up here, stand on the left foot, right, right, right foot, left hand. Right foot, left foot, hand hold. Yep. So here you go. Yep. Okay, and just stay on the block. There you go. And then to get in here, left hand, left foot. And you're gonna reach up to this bar up here. And you're gonna stand on the long. And it can uh, fill through there also, so we can do retard as well. So you can you can fill by scooping. That's amazing. Would you say 10 to 15 seconds to fill? So you just have to just touch down and ride it a little bit, and then up you go. And so what are these exhausts for here? That's a big vent. A big vent. So you got a lot of water coming in. This yeah. is venting the tank. Oh, I see. Because you push it in so so fast. Yeah. So this is twice the size of the fill. Quite a bit bigger, isn't it? Yeah, there. And, and then you put the retard, you fill the retardant in here. So what's it feel like when you dump the load all at one time? The nose is gonna pitch right up. So when you do dump it, you have to push the stick forward. So you have to compensate for that. <laughs> yeah, so as soon as you're gonna dump, you shove that stick all the way forward because it you just look you're losing eight thousand pounds. And me instantly. And it's gonna want to come. I don't compensate. I've seen it from the ground. I mean, I've seen them dump big loads and the thing it looks like it just lifts up yeah, right yeah. away. They do. Wow. It lifts up quick. If you're not ready for just it, I the haven't done it before. It's just a heat ticket ride. So you were saying that the, the, the most turns you've done in one of these is on a fuel cycle is how is what, 20? I think, I think 23. 23 fills and that's filling and dumping. That's working your butt off. Yeah. I'll bet you're tired at the end of the day. Yeah, I was in Alaska and we were about a mile and a half. Lake was here, fire was here, so we just all in a circle. Dump on the fire, scoop up another and keep going around. Wow. Until it's time to go get more fuel. It's kind of fun to be the hero, isn't So it's like the A-10 of the firefighting. Yeah, that I'm not even aircraft. sure if that could crash, but this could crash. Right, so this is the fire, how many gallons is this? 800. 800, you guys can put retardant obviously in here. Yeah, it has carried it, yeah. We prefer, the problem with going retardant is if we do a fed fire, we have to go wash it out. So I'm in the cockpit of the fire boss here, and this is the, uh, I, I've, I've, sorry, dump. this is the emergency dump right here. Yeah. And is this how you keep track of your turns? Yeah, but I, I'm old school. I take my time. Every time I come off the water, I look at, you know, the last whatever your time, time it's huh? 21 minutes after, and then I can tell if I missed or... If we're going faster or slower. This is something else. The size of that propeller, five bladed, right? Yeah, five bladed, 118 and a half inch. 1600 horsepower. 1600. Good the actual grief. engine is 1700, but this airplane's only rated. The engine mounts for 1600. So this is the thermal camera that you use there for help. If you're flying in smoke, you could find the head of the fire better. Or if we're flying in smoky conditions, it helps you. Radios. This is it was kind of interesting as being you're on the water and. Get a little bit of breathing air, you yeah. put that on your vest. You got about 21 breaths in case you get uh, upside <laughs> down in the water. Is there anything special about your helmet? Uh, it's just these? a helmet. Hel well, no, it's just it's, a, uh, just a it's just a hand. Yeah, it's a helicopter helmet. Helicopter helmet, okay. Yeah. Well, that is really interesting. This is quite an aircraft. Visibility and is so this good. This is the bomb system, so it's uh, uh, turning on, but it would be. This is the controller for how much water you're going to put on board. 
Oh, I see. So, so you, it's 569 you, gallons. You that that was yeah. No, that was from when you're scooping. When you're scooping. So we start off at about 500 and then start working our way up. So I couldn't. I can't believe that you can fill that in 10, 15 seconds. Yeah, it's in. The pressure coming through that tube must be pretty intense. It is incredible. Yeah. And then this is how this is your. You could trim your uh, your prop here. Yeah. This pitch. Yeah. Your pitch variable pitch prop. Constant speed. Yeah. So you can set the angle or the RPM through that and then power lever and then the hydraulic this here was the hydraulic emergency, uh, emergency gear. for the, bringing the gear up or down yep and so if you wanted to go up or down is there is there a switch you flip no you just have to put this in the position in that position be, yeah and this in this of course completely independent of the of, this, of the, the pumps and the power system yeah yeah well, it's very roomy in here once you get in here yeah once you get in it's really a challenge there's a procedure almost a checklist is to get in the cab yeah that's right Huh. And it wasn't, uh, you know, that was one of the things that blocked me. I thought about sitting in here and strapped in, but it's actually very comfortable. Yeah. I would imagine, do you have to fly this two-handed when you're really pulling a lot of a lot of Gs or coming up out of a canyon? No, or? It's, it's pretty sporty. So I've usually got one hand on the power lever and the other hand on the stick. So that's how you fly it. And this trim, is trim is your buddy. If it's uh, trimmed properly and you find the sweet spot, it'll... And you said that this is kind of a range where you you hissed here and you can kind of work your flap. Yeah, this would be wrist. forward, and then I can just roll my wrist. wrist. I, I roll it the other. Yeah. Just and this is your, this basically your throttle here. Yeah. So you're flying here, here, your pedals, and then here. Yep, that's it. And then what's the smoke? Uh, smoke is uh, we can inject smoke into the right exhaust, mm -hmm. and it will oil and it will smoke. So if somebody wants to see where you are. You know, if somebody's lost sight of you, you can give them a smoke trail. And these are your landing lights here? Uh, no, that's been disconnected. So that would have probably been in an egg. No, I've got toggle switches down here for okay. landing lights. And then you can key a mic here if you want. Yeah, wanted. microphone, yeah. And then what is this toggle here? Uh, another useless... Accessories. Does, yeah, it doesn't work for us, yeah. Well, and you can see your your bulkhead there is all is part of the tank. Yeah, I mean I don't see that, but I can see the sorry I can see the water level. Yeah. Usually it's above that. The first load I'll take is 450, 475, and then above that, you know, as soon as you start scooping, if you fly for 30 minutes, you're gonna get 50 gallons. Yeah. Well, that is something else. And great visibility, uh, even for a tall guy, you can. Yeah. You're, you're probably, well, I'll put a helmet on with a visor that comes down. And then you're, and you're bumping around a little bit. And your rules not, you know. The cool thing is you got air conditioning with four vents, two behind your neck, and. Do you have a YouTube channel? Uh, Do you have any videos posted? We have. You can go on and look at Aero Spray Inc. Aero Spray on Inc. Facebook. Okay, I'd, I'd love to see those videos. And if you Google search on YouTube, Fire Boss, you'll you'll see videos. Well, we sure appreciate this tour. Oh, you're welcome. You guys Does someone want to come up? He would love to come yeah, up if you have time. What's his name? Jack. Jack? Okay, we'll get Jack up here. Right hand, right foot, left hand, left foot. Okay. Right hand. So it's a long ways down there if you don't do this right. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to. So you step on the edge yep. of the seat. Yeah, edge of seat, window sill. Both feet here. Yeah, both feet there. Okay. Both hands on both there. Hands. Left hand there. Left foot is right here. We're not done yet though. No, right foot. Right hand, right foot. Right hand, right foot. And then... Oh, see, it's easy for you because you're tall. Yeah. And then change and then step down. Yeah, and then move over. It's underneath the wing. Okay. Yeah, so right hand, both, left hand. There you go. Perfect. Come on up, Jack. I'm just going to go up just to try the ladder. you got to you gotta look at the cockpit. It's, it's really it's impressive. It's really cool. I can tell you right now, I learned a couple years ago, I fell down skiing and blew my right shoulder apart, and big hits don't hurt. 